Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to Ice Rink Diaries. Local Ice Man here. And today I'm going to show you how to check the chain deflection and how to tighten that chain on the horizontal auger. All right, we have the housing off that covers the horizontal auger pump. So I uh, noticed the chain is a little bit loose. Should have, like, I believe it's a 5 8 deflection. So we're going to go ahead and uh, there's these two bolts we got unloosen, as well as two more bolts right there. Now after we get those loose, then we use these two set screws, we'll unloosen these ones, then we'll push these things, tighten these things up, that pushes the motor forward, and get some uh, tension on this chain. So with a 9 16 wrench, I unloosen these two bolts right there. As you can see, there's a little gap right there in between each one. And I'm going to go ahead and start tightening these two bolts to move the auger chain forward, or the flywheel forward. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get those bolts loose. So 9 16 is solid. The bolt's a little loose there. I got all four bolts loose. I'm not, not going to take them off. So the next thing I'm going to do is unloosen these two um, kind of set screws right here. And then we'll slowly turn these two in. And I have to slowly push the motor out this way to tighten it up. All right, with our 5 8 socket. We're going to start rotating these ones forward. All right, we still need a little space and uh, that little gap right there. We still need to move the auger more forward. You don't want to pull these things too far back. Once you get them out a little bit, you just stick a wrench in there. So I'm looking at the camera screen. And that way you can tighten the screw inward without um, tightening the set screw at the same time. Now we're gonna make sure we tighten both at the same time. Now what I'm gonna do um, is I'm just gonna lay this um, square there so I know um, they should match up. Alright so this one's still sticking out a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and tighten it a little more. Alright let's go ahead and check the deflection, the scene's deflection and we'll get into a little bit what deflection means. So we're, again we're looking for um, we're looking for a 5 16 deflection on this chain. 5 16 deflection is so so 5 16 so one two three four five sixteenths right there between a, a quarter and three eighths so from um from 15 to the 5 16 mark uh the chain we'll call it to say we'll call it the center of the chain right there um could only should only move just five sixteenths of the uh, back and forth. So deflection is just how much chain flexes basically. So, but I don't know. Actually, I think it. I'll go just a tiny bit tighter. Not scientific tighter, but just a tiny bit tighter. Oh yeah! Extreme close up. Just right down there. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's the ticket. I can use two hands. So again, I think this needs to be a little bit tighter. As you can see right here that there's still a little gap. I'm just going to tighten these as is here. Not a lot of work, ah, not a lot of room to work here. And this one needs to go in a little bit more. Or this one needs to come out, I don't know. Six one half dozen another, as Andy would say. I think I'm gonna push this one in a little bit more. Oh, sorry man, I bet it hurt. Oh, I keep on hitting you. 
All right. So I still see a little gap right there. Get my lighting crew in here. Just gonna tighten this. This is I'm tightening this. It's also gonna tighten the set screw, so if I can match it up right. Oh, it'll be a perfect day. Just lovely. All right. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little gap in there. There's a little gap. Okay. I think that's pretty tight. Let's go ahead back down to the auger chain here. Get a second opinion. I think you want to probably measure the deflection at the center, of the, in the middle between the sprockets, and not so much right next to the sprockets. I think that's good. Spin around here, make sure no wobbles. All right. So what we're gonna do now is the deflection's good. So let's go ahead and jack this thing up. Go ahead and uh, make sure that these two screws, set screws, are balanced, or equal, level. It's gotta be a level plate. Oh, wow. Whoa, that was close. Could have been catastrophic. All right, gotta make sure you get a level playing field here. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. And for your haters out there, we'll put a level on it. But honestly, I think um, I think this way is the better method to make sure that these are both the same. They're, they're not really rocking on each other. Uh -oh. No! Marriott Rewards just called me saying I got a $500 voucher. So how many, leave a comment below, how many of you guys got that Marriott? $500 voucher deal. We're at Costco, $500 voucher. Classic. Next time I get the Costco one, I'm gonna say, well, I'm not a member of Costco. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this, um, why is this not doing right? Here we go. I'm gonna tighten the screw without moving the bolt. Tighten the nut without moving the screw. Come on now. Be professional. Uh, look at this wash water hose there. Don, look at that wash water hose there. Oh, that set screw is good and tight. I like to think that feels pretty tight. pretty good to me I guess you could be anal and measure from here scientific you got the thumb you get the thumb oh look oh the thumb it passes the thumb test definitely passes the thumb test all right so let's go ahead and get these uh we'll start with these two bolts right here so, so this one I'm gonna have to get the, the open end wrench and come in it Underneath it, right there. You see that bolt move, then we're gonna tighten it right here. Let's do this without getting in the way of the camera here. All right. Don't worry, we'll edit a lot of this out. You want a picture in my hand. You want to see the, the ratchet, don't you? I'm gonna make sure this one's just 
good old fashioned tight. All right, one more to go. That guy right there. All right. One little hole there. Is it still turning underneath it? Nope. Oh, that's tight. All right, so there you have it. We got the chain tightening up. Inspected the, the flywheel and the auger here. She looks good to go. Let's look at that deflection one more time. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. A little tight, but as long as it doesn't go tight, loose, tight, loose. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right. Now that we have the auger chain deflection set, let's check the deflection on the wash water pump belt. And it's supposed to be 7 30 seconds, which is between 3 8 and a half inch. And as you see, there's about an inch of play there. So if you recall the half inch, that's a little bit too much play. So it's set up for the auger chain to be tight. So it's going to be as tight as it's going to get with the chain. So I'm going to have to remove one of these links. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these things, remove a link, put the belt back on, then tighten it back up. And to remove the belt, I'm just going to... It's easier than a chain. I'm just going to pull it towards me a little bit as I'm rotating it. And it's going to come right off. So these wash water belts have a tendency to stretch out over time. So to remove the belt, I'll take that and I'm going to twist it sideways to, to pull it out. So I'm going to turn it, then I'm going to turn sideways. I'm going to Try to pop it out. There we go. So I have one off. So then I rotate and slide one off. Or slide it off. Now to I'm gonna have to remove a link. So you can see there are just a bunch of different links in a row. So I'm gonna have to twist one. get it off and twist it again and now we have one off so I'm gonna put it all back together right here so let's go ahead and start with this one I guess all right then this top one here gotta fish it through the two of them Almost got through the bottom one there. I'm gonna try to look through the camera lens while I do this. A little bit tougher, but there you go. So I just removed one link. I hope that's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna go and put this back on and see how she goes. Oh yeah, that's much better right there. So again, just a brief overview. What this does is the it's an auger motor. This is a hydraulic motor that drives the horizontal auger via chain. And it also drives the wash water pump. So we, this is a, a critical part of the machine. It's a part of the machine that could break down. And, and so this is definitely a part of the machine that we want to pay attention to and make sure that we do um, prevent the maintenance. Last thing before we button it up, we'll go ahead and lube the chain. So it's a, we got Chainmate here, LPS. It's, God, it's 15 bucks a can, so it's gotta be good, right? So I go ahead and spin the flywheel and I spray the, the chain as I go, make sure I get a good spray on there. Probably a little too much, but all right, let's button her up. All right, there you have it. We got the auger chain nice and tight. Again, we got 5 16 deflection on the, on the chain down here. And we got 730 seconds deflection on the belt. And again, preventive maintenance is the key to most equipment, especially ice reserve service in this good old Samboni. Right here, it's she's there. Um, it's not a blue screen, it's real. Again, this is your localized man, and like he always says, stay cool.